Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you all my recipe for a gluten-free pillory. Pillowy is soft and very airy on the inside. You all will never know it's gluten-free because it tastes and looks just like a regular pillory. So to make this, I'm going to start off with some cassava flour. And you have to use the cassava flour, it's very crucial. Next, I'm going in with some Filsbury gluten-free flour. Some almond flour. Psyllium husk. Turmeric. And we call that saffron in Trinidad. Some dry active yeast. And you want to make sure it's gluten free. Salt. Some sugar. And we're going to mix these ingredients to bring it all together. Once it's mixed, go in with lukewarm water. Now this does call for a lot of water. So continue adding until you have a thin paste. I used two cups, but as you're mixing, you'll know if it's too thick because you want a soft consistency. After that has been mixed in, I'm going in with my cake mixer and I want to put some more air into this. Now remember, when you don't have gluten, it tends to be kind of dense. So by whisking or mixing this with a cake mixer, it's going to put so much air and make it light, airy and pillowy. Cover and allow it to double in size. This took 15 minutes. Look how that has risen. And you see the air bubbles in there? That's what we were trying to achieve by using the cake whisk. Next, I'm using my small ice cream scoop. And you're going to scoop these out into the hot oil. You want your oil to be on a medium heat. It's a very soft batter, so you don't want the oil too low. You're going to fry these. They'll take about a minute to fry. Fry them until they're golden brown. Make sure and flip them during the frying process so that both sides have an even color. Once it's finished, you want to take them out and drain them on some paper towels. Continue frying the rest until you've fried out all of the pillory. So guys, this was absolutely one of the best gluten-free recipes that I've come up with. I hope you all try it. Let me know what you think. Look how light, airy, pillowy. And it goes great with tamarind sauce or mango chutney, which I have on my channel. And I'll leave it in the description box for you all below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.